Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to discuss about migration from Aura component to Lightning Web component. So we will be discussing about migrating markup, CSS and JavaScript. So in each slide, I will be comparing Aura with LWC. So how features we use to implement an Aura component and how those features we need to implement in Lightning Web component. So I'm assuming prior to this video, you have gone through Aura component videos. So you know much about Aura and I'm assuming that you know less about LWC so that you can compare uh, what you implemented in Aura and now how that feature will be implemented in Lightning Web Component. So first, if we discuss about markup, so if you want to create markup file, so in Aura, it is saved with .cmp, right? So .cmp file is known as markup file where we can write all the HTML related code. And uh, that file starts with Aura colon component. So above tag can contain HTML and or a specific tags. So this markup file will be containing all the tags and whenever we render or load our component on the browser, so whatever is written in this file that will be rendered on the UI. Now, if we talk about LWC, so it contains markup in .html file that I demonstrated you in the previous video. Then file starts with template and uh, tag contain HTML and directives for uh, dynamic content, right? So in Aura, we use Aura colon component tag to start the file, but in LWC, we will be using this template. Now, if we compare attributes, so in Lightning Aura component for variable creation, we used attributes. Now in Lightning Web component, you have to use them in form of properties. So if you want to create a variable in Lightning Aura component, so what you need to write Aura colon attribute and that too in the markup file. But in LWC, properties are created in JavaScript file. So in LWC, to create properties, you can use at the rate API or at the rate track. So these are known as decorators. So about at the rate API and at the rate track, I will be discussing in the upcoming video so that you understand what is the difference and what is the use of these decorators. So here is the example, like how we uh, declare variables in Aura. Those are known as attributes. So if you need to write Aura colon attribute, then you need to define the name of the attribute and then type. And these statements we used to write in the markup file, right? So again, I'm uh, assuming like you already gone through Aura topics, you know about them so that you know, like in Aura, how we used to implement these features and now how we will be using these features in Lightning Web Component. So if we talk about Lightning Web Component, so in Lightning Web Component, whenever you need to create a variable, so firstly, it will be known as property and that property will be declared in lightning web components javascript file so here you can see this is javascript file and uh, how you can recognize it is javascript file because it is using import statement and then we have a class which is extending lightning element functionality and here two properties are declared one is message and one is employee so message is annotated with at the rate api decorator and employee is written directly so both are correct and uh, what is the use of at the rate API and what if we don't use any decorator? So these things you will get to know in upcoming videos. So right now you can just understand like if you want to create any variable in lightning web component. So those variables you need to create in JavaScript file. Now, after understanding the variable declaration in Aura, it is called attribute in Lightning Web Component, it is called property. So how to use those variables in 
Aura and etched, uh, like Lightning Web Component. So uh, basically, if you use those attributes or properties, so they will be used with the help of expression. So in Aura, expressions are written like this. Uh, you need to write curly base, then exclamation, then V dot total. So total is the attribute, right? Then in LWC, if you have created a property named as total items in JavaScript file, so you just need to enclose that uh, property name in curly braces. You don't need to write exclamation and V dot, right? So this is the basic difference, like how you will be writing expressions in Aura and expressions in Lightning Web Component. So Aura expression, so here you can see in Aura Component, like if you want to create attributes, so uh, attribute name is page, pages and type is in teaser. Then again, attribute name is total type is in teaser. Then we have a handler, which is uh, calling this function C dot do in it. So again, if you, if you have already gone through uh, Aura, so you will be able to understand like this is uh, Aura handler, which is handling a uh, function that is defined as do in it in the JavaScript controller. So if I go to next slide, so here you can see do in it function is defined. And here we are setting the values into total and pages variables. So total will be having 20 and pages will be having 100, right? If I go back, so here you can see the expressions, exclamation v dot total, and this is enclosed in curly braces, and then v dot pages enclosed in curly braces. So this way in Aura component, we used to create attributes and we used to use expressions. And this is how a JavaScript controller is written, like how we can fetch the values. Now, if you want to do the same thing in Lightning Web Component, so how you can do? So here, uh, this is HTML file, which is having only template. Here you can see we don't have any attributes declared, right? Because I already told you, uh, if you want to create any variable in Lightning Web Component, so those will be uh, treated as properties and those will be declared in JavaScript file. So here total and total pages are two properties which are enclosed in curly braces directly without any exclamation and V dot. So this you need to remember if you're migrating from Aura to LWC. So these are the changes that you need to remember. So that is why I'm preparing this video so that you can just relate and uh, you can remember like how things uh, we used to implement in Aura and how things we need to implement in Lightning Web Component. So here you can see in this JavaScript file, we have two uh, properties, page size and total. Then in Aura, sorry, in Lightning Web Component, we can define getter properties. So this is a special property which can have a curly base and then we can apply some uh, code here inside curly bases. So whatever uh, be the result of this calculation, it will be returned to the HTML file. So name of this property is total pages and it is uh, written with get. So it will be treated as getter. So if you use this total pages directly, so whatever calculation will be done there, it will be rendered on the UI with the help of this total pages property. And uh, what is the difference between this normal property and getter property? So this in detail with practical implementation, I will be demonstrating in upcoming videos. So, Next is Aura conditional and HTML conditional. So HTML conditionals means LWC HTML conditionals. So in Aura, if you want to apply any condition, so you need to write Aura colon if, but in LWC, you need to write if colon true or if colon false. So how we can do that, let's uh, focus on this. So in Aura, if you want to apply condition, so you need to write Aura colon if, then is true equals to, and then uh, attribute. If it is true, then uh, true part will be executed and uh, through aura set equals to, uh, we can set the false part as well. So this way uh, we write syntax for uh, conditionals in aura. Now, if we want to implement in lightning web component, so you just need to use template, then if colon true equals to, and then the property, right? If it is true, then the true part will be evaluated. And if you want to implement the false part, so again, you need to write if colon false. So this is the basic difference between the conditionals, how it is implemented in Aura and how it is implemented in LWC. Then Aura iteration versus HTML iteration. So in Aura, we used to write Aura colon iteration, whereas in LWC, we need to write four colon each. 
So this way we need to write iteration in aura. So aura colon iteration, then item. So this is a collection. Uh, this will be a list. And one by one, each element of list will be available with this variable. And this variable we can process like this, right? So I'm not going to explain the detail functionality. I'm just uh, giving you high level difference between particular features so that you can relate. And uh, detailed specification we will see in individual videos. So in HTML iteration, how we uh, need to write. So you need to write template then four column each, and then you need to pass a list. And through that list, one by one, data will be available into this variable. Uh, so you need to write four column item, right? And then inside this block, you can write particular code. Now, Aura init versus lifecycle hooks. So in Aura, we generally use Aura colon handler and name equals to init. So whenever component loads, loads and you want to perform uh, some operation on load of the component automatically. So for that purpose, we, we can just handle init event, right? And uh, we can define the JavaScript function in the uh, JavaScript file in case of Aura. In case of LWC, we have connected callback, which is a lifecycle hook. So I will be creating a separate video uh, to explain all lifecycle hooks because we have different, different lifecycle hooks. So I will be explaining the whole lifecycle. Right now, you can just remember like in Aura, we use init event handler, whereas in LWC, we will be doing the init functionality with the help of connected callback method, and it is part of lifecycle hooks. So this is the way we uh, write Aura in it, like how to handle that. So Aura handler, the name is in it, value equals to this and uh, action equals to C dot on in it. So on in it will be a function that will be defined in the JavaScript. And uh, this is LWC connected callback function. So in JavaScript, you need to define this block, whatever you write in this block. So that will be executed automatically on the load of the component. Then how to write aura base component. So you need to write lightning colon formatted number. This way you will be implementing. If you need to write this in LWC. So this also I explained earlier, like uh, we discussed about camel case and kebab case. So if I go back, so here you can see it is written in camel case. First word is small formatted and number N is capital. Whereas in lightning web component, you need to implement it uh, with the help of kebab case. So lightning hyphen formatted hyphen number. So this way you need to write. And if you begin it, so you need to close it as well. But in Aura, if you don't close, uh, you just uh, place slash in the open opening uh, markup. So that will also work. So these are the differences. So I hope now you understood the difference between camel case and kebab case notation. So now you need to remember this kebab case notation like every time whenever you will be using any base component. So you need to write it like this. So you need to open it as well as you need to close it. Then this is the way we used to write CSS in Aura. So we need to write dot this, then dot, and then the uh, markup name or tag name where we want to apply the CSS. And in LWC, you just need to write uh, dot and then the name of the tag where you want to apply the CSS. You don't need to write this dot cs dot this in case of lightning web component. It doesn't make any sense in LWC. Then our JavaScript. So in JavaScript, this way we used to write function like previous space is a function. Then next page is a function. And here we are uh, writing some statements. So here we are finding the events, right? So this way JavaScript file is implemented in Aura. So in JavaScript file, you just need to define the functions. So you can define functions by comma separated and you can define any number of functions in any sequence. Whereas if we see the uh, LWC JavaScript file, so we can import the pre-built functionalities like here we are importing LWC module and the lightning element and API are the functionalities. Then we are extending lightning element functionality with this class. We are using export so that uh, the function which are defined in this class, we can use those function into another uh, JavaScript file. Then we have created a property outside of the function so that we can use this property in multiple functions. 
and uh, previous handler this is a function then uh, this is a getter like is first place so it is similar to a variable or property but this property can have some statements basis on that uh, those statements some calculation will be performed and the returned result you can render on the html right so this way you need to implement your javascript file so this javascript file can contain properties getter setter other than functions whereas in aura we just need to define functions properties we need to define in uh, component markup file and those properties are known as uh, attributes in case of aura right so this is the difference between both javascript files and lastly like if you want to use third party javascript libraries so in aura you need to use ltng colon require and then you need to write script. So let's say you want to use static resource. So how you can write it. And uh, then if you want to use it in LWC, so you just need to import it like this. So this is all, all about like how you can migrate from Aura to LWC. So some brief and common and important features I discussed in this video. So I hope this will help you to relate like how features used to implement in Aura and how uh, we can implement them in Lightning Web Component. And if you want to see those features implementation in detail, so just follow all the videos so that you can understand them in detail. Thank you.